All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 9 to the power of x squared over 3 to the power of x is equal to 27. So I want to find the value of x. What I'm first going to do is rewrite 9 here as 3 squared. So I get 3 squared to the power of x squared over 3 to the power of x is equal to 27. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x squared is going to equal 3 to the power of 2 times x squared, which is 3 to the power of 2x squared. And I have this over 3 to the power of x. This is equal to 3, 3 to the power of 2x squared over 3 to the power of x is equal to 27. Now, another property of exponents that I can use over here is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of 2x squared over 3 to the power of x, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 2x squared minus x, because 2x squared is m and x is n. So this turns to m minus n, which is 2x squared minus x. So I have this is equal to 27. Now from here, to solve an equation like this, we want the bases of these two terms to be the same. So currently, I have a base of 3 and a base of 27, which aren't the same. However, I can rewrite this 27 to be of a base of 3. So 27, I can rewrite as 3 to the power of 3. So now this way, both the bases are the same. Now I can use the property a to the power of m. If a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, m is equal to n. So essentially, if the two bases are the same, I can cancel them out. And I'm left with 2x squared minus x is equal to 3. So a nice equation to solve. So now. From here, to solve this equation, we want everything on one side. So what I'm going to do is subtract 3 on both sides. So I get 2x squared minus x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation. And if you guys already know, to solve a quadratic equation, we can use, by the way, a quadratic equation has to be in the form a times x squared plus b times x plus c is equal to 0. So in this case, a is 2, b is negative 1, and c is negative 3. And to solve a quadratic equation, we can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and all of this over 2a. So we can use this formula to find the solutions to this quadratic equation. And all we have to do is plug in our values of a, b, and c. So b is given as negative 1. So I get negative and negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is negative 2, sorry, a is positive 2, times c, which is negative 3. And I have all of this over 2a, so 2 times 2. And now this turns into 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 24 over 4 which turns into 1 plus or minus the square root of 25 over 4. Now from here, we are going to simplify this radical. 
So the square root of 25 is 5, so I get 1 plus or minus 5 over 4. And now I get two solutions to this. I get x is equal to 1 plus 5 over 4, and x is equal to 1 minus 5 over 4. So 1 plus 5 is 6, and 6 over 4, that simplifies to 3 over 2. So this is one solution of x. And 1 minus 5 is negative 4. Negative 4 over 4 is negative 1. So my two solutions are 3 over 2 and negative 1 to this equation. And if you guys want, you can go ahead and plug these in to check if they are right. I'm not going to do that. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this to any friends or family. Thank you for watching.